Welcome guys out there. What's happening in Germany? Uh, Edward Snowden and the NSA scandal a big topic in Germany at the moment. So I want to talk with you about that. But if you think it's about the NSA and the Americans are spying, you're wrong. Uh, after September 11, the then government in Germany um, worked together with the Bush administration and they opened the gates to those civilians. So when the now parties in, in the opposition in Germany complain at the moment, it's they should not forget that they made this possible and yeah, it's, it's some bullshit. And the true scandal is not really that Edward Snowden showed the world what the NSA and other services uh, do. When this uh, topic came to public in Germany, the German government was very fast to say this is not important and the debate is over. The things came to roll when Chancellor Merkel found out that she by herself is also in the or was in the focus of the NSA. Then it came a big issue. Uh, to, to civilians, 80 million German citizens uh, is not a matter of topic for the government. They don't even care. Just not for the government. Uh, just when it comes to themselves, when they find out, oh, we are by ourselves, we get also controlled. Then it's a topic, and so oh, you cannot do this stuff, and yeah. And why is it not a matter of interest for uh, for the government when the public find out um, about the NSA, civilians, and other services, civilians uh, that? German citizens. Uh, as I told, the then government allowed it and also the now government. Also, the German government never trusted their own citizens. There is a lot of there are a lot of civilian laws in Germany and even at the moment of the heat of the debate. They try to re release some more civilian laws. So, yeah, as you see, it's not about civilians the, the matter of interest. Uh, yeah. uh, in Germany, there's a general fear of losing control. And this fear, in uh, my point of view, is connected to the Second World War and Hitler. In Germany, we like to have things under control. And if you stand out the crowd, if you have some out of the box behavior or too much individual or critical thinking, then you are suspect. And the fear of the government and politicians in general is that they can't control people. Uh, because without control you can't catch a rule breaker. Um, for example, it starts with crossing a red street light and ends in Auschwitz. It's a strange mindset behind this. So I want to explain it. Politicians, most of the politicians believe if uh, you break a small rule, then you will break another rule, a bigger rule. And where's, where does it stop in the end? What is the next rule or law you're going to break? At the end, nobody controls you and nobody can stop you and this means chaos and at the end we are back in the barbarian age of killing. This is the mindset behind this. And this is also the reason why the politicians want to control the internet in Germany. When they found out, um, when the internet developed and they find out what you can do, how much freedom the internet can, can give to you, they want, first they want to forbid it. But this plan failed, it's not possible in a way. 
Uh, also, they don't like the idea of a free internet and a non-real name control. Because this means you are, in a way, anonymous. Thanks to Edward Snowden, we know we are not. And this is also the reason why the German government uh, want to install Trojans uh, at the computer of the citizens and also save all the phone data, connection data, mobile phone data and everything just they want to collect it and save it without special reason like a crime or something like that. Uh, yeah, that people can make a, a decision on their own is a very strange thing in Germany. Giving up control is a big fear. So deba debate about the NSA thing is a big fake. The government don't care really about the civilians of the citizens. They do this for themselves for a long time. Only is they, that they didn't know that they get controlled by themselves is the real matter of this. Uh, what's up with this? They can't do this stuff. So it's not about the civilians as I told. And it's that the fear that people without control will do negative and bad things is the main thing. But people will always react um, as you force them to do. If you don't trust them, if you put, put some pressure on, on them that you don't trust them, they react that you cannot trust them. And behind, behind this all is a very uh, negative point of view uh, to human beings or, or to Germans in this case because of Hitler and the Holocaust. Humans without control will do bad things to hurt each other, rape, stealing and the end we have a new genocide. Uh, the experience of the Second World War is still a massive shock for a lot of people here still today and yeah and they believe if they cannot control the people the people will do something like this again and how can you trust a person that, that don't um, stick to the rules I mean a person yeah as I said a person that crosses a red street light is a rule breaker what is up to this mindset to this person how bad is this person? What is the next thing this person will do? And this is the questions those politicians have and, and they believe into this. But for me it's a very strange uh, and, and bad and negative point of view. And I don't believe if it's true. You have to trust the people. The people, mostly when you think the people are bad, it's, it's mostly because you know you yourself are bad and untrusty. Yeah, that's the, and I mean, we are talking about politicians, they're lying, they're stealing and, and do all this stuff. And then to think, oh, the citizen, I do this in secret. So all the people, uh, the citizen will do this also. So, yeah, that's some points from me to this topic. Cheers, guys. Till the next time.